I would like to ask you a question. In your life, how often do you stop to ask yourself certain questions? The questions that will allow you to understand yourself, understand what you're going through, and also be able to assess certain things in your life. You see, when we ask ourselves questions that allow us to understand where we're at, when we understand what makes us happy, what brings us joy, when we understand what revives us, what gives us pleasure, we can then bring more of those things and experiences into our life. So it's important to every once in a while stop and look around and assess where you're at and ask yourself five questions that will allow you to assess what is going on for you, what are some of the things that you might need to let go, and what are some of the things that you might look at as far as experiences and people and situations that you want to experience more of in your life. Hey, my name is Eugenia, I'm a transformational coach, and I work with professional women to help them step into their magnificence and experience the luxury of being who they are so that they can live their life with freedom, power, and purpose. Today, I would like to talk about the five simple questions that can help you assess and understand where you're at in your life. Also, understand yourself better. You see, since we've been young, we have not been told that it's very important to know what we like, what makes us feel good. So the first question to ask yourself, what do I like? What makes me feel good? What do I enjoy in my life? Because in our day-to-day -day experience, there's so much going on and it's often hard to stop and look around and understand what happened, where are you, what are you doing, what are you experiencing, what are you feeling. So to tune in and really understand what makes you feel good about the days, about your work, about your family, about your friends, about anything that you're doing after work or uh, in your recreational life. Those are questions that will allow you to understand, are you feeding your soul? Are you feeding who you are, feeding your spirit? Are you serving yourself? Are you looking after yourself? Are you feeding that part of you that needs to be nourished? How much joy you're experiencing in life? The next question is about the opposite. What do I not like in my life? What is taking away from me, from my day, from my joy? What are some of the things that I don't look forward to doing? What are some of the things that take away from my enjoyment, that bring me down, that drain me? And are there people in my life, are there people in your life that take away from who you are or drain you or that are, are there people in your life that make you feel a certain way or that you feel that you're giving to and not receiving anything back or take away your energy or people who after talking to them you feel you just are not looking forward to the day. So those are things that are important to assess and allow yourself to be honest and from there decide how much of it do you want to continue experiencing and you can of course take notes along the way uh, and this way you're gonna really know in your day the percentage of things that you enjoy and the percentage of things that you don't enjoy and that take away from yourself third question is about joy what brings you joy what truly makes you feel alive is this new experiences 
Is it listening to music? Is it going to concert? Is it staying indoors, staying home and cozying up with your book? You see, each one of us should have a list of a tw at least 50 things that we enjoy doing. Why is that important? Oftentimes we do not allow ourselves the luxury of understanding our preferences, things that makes, make us feel alive that bring us that vibrancy, that nourish and bring us alive, that bring us to a place of knowing that our life is worth living. So I suggest you make a list of 50 things that truly bring you alive. And this could be so simple. This could be you wanting to go for a walk with your dog and, and taking your dogs to the park or playing with your cat or having a cup of coffee in your favorite cup first thing in the morning and looking at the sunrise or at sunset or cozying up with with your kids on the couch and watching your favorite movie or tv series these are very simple pleasures that you allow yourself to put down on paper and you know that you can always go to when you are feeling down and you need to bring yourself up and experience that joy. Making that list will also allow you to see how have you trained that muscle of experiencing joy and how is the range of that joy is in your life. You know, for some people it could be as as big as, you know, going skiing to, uh, you know, some crazy place and uh, experience some experiencing some adrenaline and for others it could be something very very simple and yet knowing what those 50 things are and putting them down on paper is going to be interesting for you and if you are having a hard time finding the 50 things that bring you joy then I suggest at least you start that list and then you add to that list as you go along and you notice little things see it makes you more aware about the things in your daily life that bring you pleasure. When I started doing that, I realized that I just love watching birds chirping outside. It brings me such joy, I can watch them. Or watching little kids play on the playground. Those are little things that bring me joy, that are not costing me anything, that are not taking a lot of time from me, but they're little things that add to my day, that make me giggle, that make me experience that feeling of being connected to life and that's what it's all about the next question is what do I want to let go of that's no longer serving me you see a lot of us have habits that we've been holding on to for a long long time because they keep us safe they keep us feeling that we have comfort that we can control our environment although it is deceiving because very often there's many things in our life that we cannot control but we hold on to these habits because they are something that are making us feel familiar that are reminding us that there's a certain constancy in the life that's full of change and we hold on to the people, we hold on to the habits, we hold on to circumstances, we hold on to situations, we hold on to possessions that are somehow our rock or we, we feel that they are a rock. There's something that's making us feel safer, making us feel that we can hold on to something. So I suggest you look at all of these things you know, what am I holding on to as far as my clothes that's no longer serving me that I can no longer wear? What am I holding on to that is no longer something I use and no longer need? What am I holding on to as far as my identity and the status in the world that I don't need to have that is maybe adding to a burden that I'm experiencing? Are there any possessions that I want to let go of? Are there any habits? Are there any identity items or anything that I hold on to that makes me feel safer, but in the end of the day is not serving me? An example of that would be something that 
you're holding on to from your past. Uh, maybe a history or a memory of something or someone that you feel is a big part of your identity. For example, if you went to a, through a divorce and you feel like it is a big part, it was a big part of your life and it was something very traumatic and has caused a lot of grief and it's something that has become a big part of your identity. Is it something that you still need? Yes, of course it made you who you are until now, but do you need it now? Do you need to hold on to that experience? The more time you spend thinking about those things in the past, the more energy you send that way versus keeping the energy for experiencing the joy today. So from that point of view, what is it that you're holding on to that is no longer serving you? That you can let go of and thank the universe, thank those circumstances for being there, for thank the people for being there for you. But you're not that person anymore. You've moved on. You're here and now. So what is it that you need and don't need right now that would allow you to experience more lightness and joy in your life? You can make a list of things or habits that you want to let go of and start noticing how you can slowly let go of those things. And if you are experiencing anxiety or sense of difficulty letting go of those things, ask yourself why? Why am I still holding on to it? What about it that I feel is so important for me to hold on to? The last question is what do I feel I need to bring into my life to get to a place of being here and now, to get to a place of feeling centered and aligned with who I am? And that's probably a big question that will allow you to take a bigger view into your whole life and understand what is it that maybe you've always wanted but haven't allowed yourself to experience or what is it that you feel is important to you that is part of your priority or has become part of who you are or is becoming something important in your life and how can you open yourself up to new experiences to experiencing more of whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. So for me, I would say a lot of it is the sense of freedom and independence and the sense of joy that is not connected to a circumstance. How do I bring more of that into my life? Do I do more meditations? Do I, how do I put myself on that path? with little steps along the way that will allow me to experience more of it in my life and make space to make it a bigger part of my life. So those are the questions that you can ask yourself if you are in the process of soul searching. Asking good questions and the questions that allow you to go deeper is what helps us understand ourselves. And I hope that on that journey, you can experience some amazing insights and revelations that can bring you to experiencing more joy in the here and now. I would love to hear what brings you joy. How do you assess and reassess things in your life and what questions you ask yourself so that you can get deeper and closer to your authentic self.